Mr. President, let me turn to uh, the bill and what's notable for what it does not include. There are policies that are difficult to change because they are antiquated and no longer reflect the reality of our society. The failed policy, don't ask, don't tell, is a good example of this. But the fact that it will be difficult to repeal doesn't mean that we shouldn't try. Since the implementation of this program in 1993, the armed forces have discharged over 12,000 brave and qualified combat troops, code breakers, medical and intelligence specialists, and skilled translators simply for being gay. This includes uh, over 300 service personnel who've been discharged since President Obama took office. Mr. President, this is 2009. I believe this discriminatory policy undermines the strength of our military and the fairness of our great nation. We're engaged in two wars. It's counterproductive to discharge service members who have critical skills to winning these wars, even as the military has to spend scarce dollars to replace them. My opinion, we need to bring the unjustness of this policy to the forefront now, and I plan to work with my colleagues and with the administration to see that we accomplish in a timely manner the full repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. 